Hi, and once again, Happy New Year, everybody. Bob Costas in New York. Following the Rose Bowl, as you know, it's Penn State with their record of 11-0 against Oklahoma. The Sooners are 10-1, only an early season loss to Miami in Norman, Oklahoma, by the way, marring their record. The national championship could be at stake. Here's a preview from Don Crickey. Thank you, Bob. The tension is building here in Miami for this matchup of college football super teams. Number one, Penn State, and number two, Oklahoma, with the national championship directly tied to the outcome. Penn State, as always, features outstanding defense, but the Nittany Lions also have some superb offensive players, like number 42, D.J. Dozier, a 210-pound power back with breakaway speed. Oklahoma's offense is centered around a freshman quarterback, Jamel Holloway, number four. A young man has quarterbacked the Sooners seven times, and in those games, they've averaged almost 38 points and 350 yards a game rushing. Can the Penn State defense break the wishbone offense of Oklahoma? The national championship hinges on the outcome. This is Don Crickey in Miami. Now back to Bob Costas in New York. All right, Don, earlier today on NBC, Michigan finished 10-1-1, dropped Nebraska to 9-3 by winning the Fiesta Bowl 27-23. Let's take a look at highlights. It looked for a while as if it would be another bowl game nightmare for Bo Schembechler. The Wolverines trailed 14-3 at halftime. Two touchdowns by Doug DeBose of Nebraska. This one on a pass from McCathorn Clayton that covered six yards early in the second quarter. But in the third quarter, Nebraska self-destructed a couple of fumbles. They also suffered a block punt. Here is Jim Harbaugh scoring his second touchdown of the day for Michigan, gave them the lead at 17-14. They scored 24 unanswered points in the third quarter, built a 27-14 lead, and then held on to win 27-23. Steve Taylor's desperation pass into the end zone, intercepted by Garland Rivers, and the victory belongs to Michigan. Jamie Morris, the sophomore running back for the Wolverines, younger brother of the Giants, Joe Morris, had 156 yards on the day. DeBose carried 17 times for 99 yards for Nebraska. In the Cotton Bowl, the Aggies of Texas A&M making their first Cotton Bowl appearance in 18 years, defeated Auburn 36-16, despite 129 yards rushing and a couple of touchdowns by Heisman winner Bo Jackson. A&M was in front 12-7 in the second quarter when Pat Washington went to the air on this flip to Jackson, and look what he does with it. Turns it into a 73-yard catch and run. Auburn has the lead at that point 13-12. We'll move ahead to the third quarter with A&M in front, 15 to 13 at that point, and Anthony Tony will build the lead to 21-13 on a 22-yard run. Eventually, a field goal for Auburn will bring them to within 21-16, and they get second and goal at the two-yard line and give it to Jackson three straight times, and all three times A&M stops him. That was the turning point in the game. Texas A&M goes on to win at 36-16. A&M's quarterback Kevin Murray threw for almost 300 yards, including a touchdown. And in the Rose Bowl game you're watching now on NBC, four fumbles by Ronnie Harmon of Iowa, seven turnovers overall in the first half. Eric Ball carries the ball only five times for UCLA and scores on three of those five carries. The Bruins, the underdogs, leading 24-10 at the half. Let's go back to Pasadena.